Hi, today I'd like to talk to you about the way I see fate. I'm not talking about the classical way that mm, human beings have to perceive the, a divine being in the, in the course of their lives. I'm talking about my personal fate. Since I was a child, I have been used to uh, think about something different uh, from the people I saw around me, someone different and superior to all of us, uh, whom I could trust, whom I could address, to uh, feel more safe and loved. As you know, well, I think you all know that since I was a boy, I had a problem feeling lo the love of my parents. My mother was an unaffected and my father had uh, psychic problems. You know, I was a very self-confident child. I needed to, to trust uh, someone uh, and I needed to feel uh, the love from above. So I started to pray, I started to go to the church every Sunday of my, of my life and I started to feel the presence of something greater in the universe. Well, that's nothing, that, that um, doesn't have anything in common with a classical way of seeing God in the classical religions. My God, in fact, is not a personal God, is not someone you can pray to go to heaven, to go to heaven after death, is not someone uh, peculiar, belonging to uh, a particular religion. My God is my God is the God of everyone. Is the God who means the fact that we need to trust something superior to to our humanity. In fact, we need uh, to. Um, you know, you, we need to uh, pass to destroy the drama of our lives, the sadness and the, dan the danger uh, of our civilization and all the sadness, of the, all the evil that is inside of it. So we need to address someone who could, who could uh, take us to the, to the universe and make us feel that we are not doomed to last forever. In classical religions, the God is just the God of the right ones. He's a God who uh, justify the lives of all his people and who gives awards and gifts to, you know, to make is people's life last forever. This is not what the real 
debate is about, but it's just a feeling of, you know, a feeling of superiority, a feeling of um, giving importance to our own life, to individuality. So, our God comes to be just a personal God. A God who is, who is just a man who greater powers of all of us. My faith is just a faith who justify the escape of all humanity from the feeling of the humanity of a terrestrial way of her having of considering life. Praying my God, I don't want to live forever. I just want to have a good death and then feeling the freedom of my um, clothes. I just want to uh, dissolve myself in eternity. This is the greatest, uh, the greatest, um, you know, the, the most beautiful thing to achieve in our mind. The feeling that one day we are just nothing. We are just lost in universe, in eternity. This is all a real fate must be about. It must be a, about freedom and freedom from humanity, the old drama and sadness and evil and um, cruelty that can be in our lives. We, we must pray to God to be free, to, to feel less and less our humanity, our mortality, to just um, feel the eternity that is inside of all, all of us, not just in our soul, but in our world mind. Thank you for listening and see you in the next video.